The leaves on the cherry tree are the first thing to change in my yard. Slowly, one by one, they turn from green to yellow. And in that pale yellow color, they fall gently to the ground. It takes a process for them to do this over several weeks, but that process has begun. Alongside the cherry tree is a row of rose bushes. Those rose bushes are in full bloom right now. Yet if you look closely, the leaves are starting to change. They've, they've gone from a, a lighter color green to a darker color green, and around the tips, they're turning black, and ever so slowly, one by one, they're falling. The early signs of autumn are in Atlanta. And one of the things that I always find confusing about the beginning of autumn in Atlanta is that it's still very warm here. Our highs are, are still in the mid to upper 80s, and it's very humid. Many parts of, the, of North America don't even get this warm during the summer. Yet because our days are growing shorter and the amount of sunlight is changing, autumn comes in Atlanta. The season begins. Today I want to talk about autumn. I want to talk about it both in terms of it being a season a time of change, but I also want to talk about it in terms of being a metaphor for our lives, for a season of change in our lives. And as I do that, I want to invite you to subscribe to this channel as well as to click the bell so you're notified of future videos. I grew up in western Pennsylvania, and in western Pennsylvania, the, the foliage was very different than in Georgia. In our yard, we had a number of maple trees that would turn bright red in autumn. We also had white birch trees, and those birch trees would turn a vibrant yellow. But there were also chestnut trees off in another corner. And those leaves would turn to a mustard yellow. So there was all this variety of color, and I looked forward to the changing of seasons. But in time, I came to understand that the change of the autumn season really marks a change that's about completion, that's about coming to the end of a cycle, that's about things coming toward their where they were meant to go. See, we begin with spring, and in spring, we have the vibrancy of color. We have the flowers and the newness and all the beauty. And that's very much how we are when we're in our 20s, in that springtime of life where we enter adulthood and everything seems like it's before us and that anything we choose to do, we believe will succeed. We, we don't have a sense of limits. We believe that the, the world is in front of us and we'll be able to chart our course and go our way and we believe that we're going to be successful. And that energy is very important for us because it helps us to explore and to get into a groove in life. But time passes and we end up in the summer of life. And, and what we know about summer is that that's the time of the greatest heat. And that heat can, can help fruit to ripen. It can help bring a certain kind of fullness but that heat can also bring dryness. It can parch land. It can lead to drought. And that's often our experience in midlife, that, that we're both experiencing that ripening, that fullness, but we're also experiencing those dry pieces. And so we enter midlife in our 40s, and, and we begin to weigh, where are we with that youthful dream we had, that hope we had for our future? We see that it didn't exactly work out the way we thought. Maybe some parts of it did. But we see that it probably wasn't as grand as we thought it would be. And some other things happened along the way. So, so we adjust. We realize we're halfway through our life cycle. And we know that we have plenty of time left in a sense, so we make adjustments to move ahead. But in time, the autumn of life comes. And it's in that autumn of life that we have a very different perspective. Our leaves are changing. Some of them are falling to the ground. All of that 
is part of what's happening in our body, the changes that are happening in our body. We become more aware of limitations. We realize that we've lived most of the, li the life we are going to live. It's not that it's over, but we've lived three quarters of our lifespan. And those youthful dreams, those hopes that we had, they don't seem foreign, they don't seem far away, but we're aware more increasingly so, more so than at midlife, that things didn't turn out as we had once thought. It's been different. Has it been good? Has it been bad? Are we content? Are we disappointed? Those may not be the right categories because as we look back, what we realize is that a lot of it's pretty ambiguous and we're not quite sure how to make sense or to be reconciled with all the various things that have happened. And it's not that it's our time to give up. We still have more time to live, but we're aware that we'll be living differently. This may be when we're moving into retirement. This may be when we're watching friends of ours pass. There are many different things happening for us, but there's also a sense of fruition, of fullness, just as the leaves in Pennsylvania gave me a sense of wonder with their color. And just as I noticed the leaves in Atlanta as they move through their cycle. So here, as I speak from the autumn of my own life, I look around me about what has transpired and what has happened over my life course. And I know that what's most important is to reflect back on those moments of grace, those moments of goodness, those times where things worked in ways maybe that I didn't expect, but that were for the good. And to continue to move with that as I move forward into the rest of my life. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. Like the video, share it with others. Leave me some comments. Are you experiencing the autumn of life? What's it like for you? And know that I really appreciate the time you spend with Spirituality Beyond Borders. Have a really great day. <music>